Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back. Okay, part two. This is what we just solved, okay? When we tried it with an equal sign here, when we tried it with an equal sign, I know that's not an equal sign, we found that there was only one solution. When we have this new symbol in here, an inequality, we find, we look down here and you go, wait a minute, there's two solutions. Wait a minute, so what's going on? How can you determine whether a given number makes an inequality true? We just did it with an equation. Now it's an inequality. An inequality is a mathematical sentence that contains the greater symbol, the less than symbol, the greater than or equal to symbol, or the less than or equal to symbol. Hmm. Any value for the variable that makes the inequality true is a solution. So watch how this changes our previous calculations. You spent this much for a video. You can buy another video, but it has to be less than or equal to 15. Notice now when you try this one, it's equal to 15, but that's less than or equal to, right? So it's a solution. Excuse me. Uh, this one is 15, right? How about this one? This one as well is equal. So it's a solution. And how about this one? No, it's too much. 1650 is greater than 15. Does that make sense to you? You might be saying no. So let's take a look at this, this one. When you had the equation, an equation must be equal. An equation must be equal, right? So if I have five plus three, this other side must equal eight. That is an equation. An inequality has these other symbols. Notice that, watch this one. Two is less than four. These are now inequalities, right? How about this one? Three is greater than one. How about like this? N is less than or equal to three. N is less than or equal to three. Okay, so if N is less than or equal to three, that means it needs to be three, two, one, zero. And if I wanted to get into all the negative numbers, I could keep going negative. But N is less than or equal to, we now start to see the inequalities. How about the other way? How about this one? N is greater than or equal to five. N is greater than or equal to five. So what are the possible values? Well, N is greater than or equal to five. So that could be five, six, seven, eight, and go on forever. Do you see what how inequalities are different? Okay, so let's take a look. I'm going to pause for one minute and then we shall continue. Let me set up a problem. Okay, let us continue. Let's get over to back to our journal. Okay, this is number one, I have copied it down. Notice you have P, whatever P is worth, P plus 2.7 is greater than four. Then you're given uh, some values for P. They're telling you if P equals all of these, which one is the solution? Hmm. So take a look. If you first substituted one there, it would look like this. I'd have one plus 2.7. Let's do it. So I'd have 2.7 plus one, and I'd have 3.7. 
Is 3.7 greater than four? No, it is not. So that is not a solution. Let's try two. Is two greater than four? If two were substituted right there, right? I'd have 2.7 plus two. I'd have 4.7. Is 4.7 greater than four? It is. So that is a solution. And you can see if the numbers are now greater than two, they're also going to be solutions, correct? Let's do another one. So look, here's three. If I were to substitute that for P, I would have 2.7 plus three. I have 5.7. So three is a solution. Is four going to be a solution? Of course it is. You see this now. You see if you had four here, you would have 6.7 is greater than four. So notice that there are three solutions then. Let's do another one. Here's number six. Let's look at this one. Oh, we have an equal sign here. So it must equal. So there's probably only going to be one answer, right? Again, you're going to substitute these. Is it 0.7? You go, I'm not sure. So if A equaled 0 0.7, would, the now, would this now be an equation? Let's find out. I'm going to pull it right here. I can put it right here. 8.9 plus 0.7 equals, let's see, it's 9.6. So does 9.6 equal 9.7? Of course not. That is not a solution. How about this one, 0 0.8, 0 0.8. So if I have 8.9 plus 0 0.8, I now have, oh, look at that. Is it 9.7? So this appears to be a solution. Since it's an equal sign and the numbers are different, it has to be that one, doesn't it? Let us move on to another. Let us pause real quickly.